Hello and welcome, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Hoist and I love this toy. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to consider subscribing to the channel. It won't cost you anything, but it'll help me and it'll help the channel grow. Also, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video and of course, come back and check out the channel often. The best way to keep up on what's going on is to come back and check it out. I upload one or two videos a week, sometimes more. Finally, if you'd like to further help out the channel, I have placed a donate button up at the top banner. If you want to click on that, I certainly would appreciate it. So here we have Hoist, brand new, released in February of 2020. He is starting to hit stores right now as of the time of this recording. He is marked as a deluxe figure and is retailing for approximately $20. And we can see here in the packaging, he is packaged in his robot mode. Front of the box is a window package, so you can see the product within. And then on the sides, we've got, again, the Earthrise artwork on this side. And then on the other side, we've got really cool artwork of Hoist right there. He looks fantastic. And then around the back, we've got some um, product shots of Hoist himself in his robot in his vehicle mode. And one of his features there with the, uh, the little platform there that he can connect to other things as well as the actual tow feature. So yeah, very cool figure. I absolutely adore this figure. Let's get him out of the package and check him out. And here we have Hoist out of the package and in his vehicle mode. He comes packaged with everything you see here. We've got obviously the figure. We've got this weapon, instructions, and his decoder. So we can take his decoder here. Come on decoder. Okay, I'll do it the hard way. And we'll get the insert and we'll look for his planet. And he gets planet junkie on. Again, I don't know what that means, but there it is. He gets Planet Junkie on. So a decoder instructions, we'll go ahead and set those off to the side. And we'll take a look at Grapple in his vehicle mode. He's his, the classic tow truck vehicle for Grapple. Looks fantastic. Vehicle mode for, not Grapple, for Hoist. <laughs> I'm looking at Grapple on the side of the table. Hoist is the classic tow truck vehicle. Is approximately four inches long, five and a half, if you want to count the tow part right here. Uh, he's about two and a quarter inches tall, and he looks really, really nice, rolls really well. I do love this little detail on the little platform here for the tow. There's a little wheel here that moves, so that can also uh, roll around behind you if you wish, and just kind of going all the way around, he's molded, uh, or he's detailed in green with some orange details, Autobot logo right there on the hood, a little bit of scratches there on the hood, which is actually uh, the way it should be uh, <laughs> on a tow truck like uh, of this age. Uh, we got that yellow and black striping on the side there, very Ghostbusters, but also very uh, caution and emergency vehicle kind of thing. Again, rolls really, really nicely. It looks fantastic. Absolutely love the way this figure looks. Now, he does come packaged with his weapon, which we're going to see in his robot mode. Not a whole lot that we can do here for vehicle mode. The instructions tell you to just peg it in on the side right there. I hate that. I do not like the way that looks. If he's in vehicle mode, I'm just putting that in Prime's trailer uh, so that it's not being obtrusive the way it is here now. But there you go. There's a, a thing you can do with him. Now, I have seen a lot of people do this. Let me reach back here and try to get this out. I see a lot of people use this for vehicle mode, and it doesn't look terrible. It's a good searchlight and whatnot. I particularly don't like it. Uh, I like to keep it away. The instructions tell you to put it away. But if you want to have this out for vehicle mode, uh, it looks fine. It looks perfectly fine. So there you go. You can have yourself a little searchlight up there, but... I'm just going to leave it down because that's the way the instructions show. Now, here's the one uh, minor gripe that I have with this figure is that we can't actually tow anything. This is just not big enough. It doesn't have any way to, to peg on or, or grab on or do anything where we can actually tow any vehicles, which is very unfortunate. The original G1 Grapple could uh, tow vehicles. In fact, why don't we demonstrate that real quick because we're going to be doing some comparisons here soon. Let's bring this guy out. Let's bring that guy out and watch me not get it because I'm in front of a camera. <laughs> watch me not be able to get it now. Uh, there we go. Um, Wheeljack is actually not the best example because he's got that long front bumper. Uh, but on some of the other cars are a lot easier to carry. But yeah, uh, the way Grapple worked was that you could actually put the front wheels of vehicles in front of these two tabs there. Kind of like I'm doing with the one side of Wheeljack right now. You could do that with most Autobot cars and you could actually tow them, uh, which is not a thing that you can do with this new grapple here. So that, that's that's kind of unfortunate. Now, what I have been able to do is I take this one panel off of Prime 
Then you can just kind of clip these together. And then that gives me a little bit extra stuff there to kind of get under the vehicle. And then I can, I'm able to tow it that way. So that's a way to go about it. Out of the box, you can't tow. But if you get some of the accessories from some of the other vehicles, then you can tow. And again, for comparison, there you go. You can see, let's go ahead and get the wheel jacks out of the way. And take this thing off. And for comparison... There is a hoist. Am I still saying grapple? Have I been saying grapple this whole video? I'm not starting. I'm not doing another video. I don't know why I've got grapple in the head. I keep calling it grapple. I don't know what the misfire in my brain is. Uh, hoist. Here is hoist. <laughs> Earth rice hoist with G1 hoist. So you can see what these guys look like together. <laughs> what is going on in my head today? I haven't had any coffee. Seriously. Uh, it's very early in the morning and I haven't had any coffee yet. Um, so this is another thing that you can do is you can actually bring this up. This is actually snapped in place there. You can unsnap it, bring it up, and then th that can actually just stow away like that also if you don't want that thing hanging on the back there. So you can have them both this way too. So there you go. So you can see what hoist looks like together next to his G1 counterpart. And again, they did a really, really good job of giving us an updated version of this. Fantastic. I really, really like the way this looks. So getting in the transformation, we're going to go ahead and start on the back here. And I, I am going to once again pop this open because I want to reach in here and get this piece out. And now it's in there all the way in it. Okay. So we want to take that out, pop it all the way up. And then you can go ahead and uh, store away the little flatbed piece there for the tow truck. And we're all set there. Take this entire orange piece on the back here and we're going to unpack this. This is pegged into several places. So as you can see, I'm just kind of undoing tabs here all over the place. All right. And then this is going to double hinge out and over. You can see the two hinges there. So let me show you where this is all pegged in. We got tabs here, here, that are going to go into each side here. And then we have tabs here and here that peg into the shins right there and right there. So that's where all of that was at. Now we can go ahead and let's see. We're going to go down to the bottom, take the arms, and just kind of pull them out from under the hood here. And this is going to allow us to take the whole side of the car here and just kind of pop it over. Actually, let's take the hood of the car first and pop that up. Now we can take the arms, bring them down a little bit and take the entire side of the truck here. And we're gonna bring this out just like that. We're gonna do that on both sides. Go ahead and bring that out. That's gonna allow us to bring this down all the way, like so, take the hood, bring it back down again. And this are gonna clip in together just like that. We can take the legs and straighten them out. Take these panels and straighten them. Bring the arms down and rotate at the bicep there to orient them properly. And then before we bring this down, <laughs> there we go, thank you. Before we bring this down, we're gonna reach in here and rotate his head up and over like that. Now we can go ahead and bring this down. We're actually gonna bring this up on this hinge. Work with me, hoist not grapple, work with me. We're gonna come up on this hinge and down on this hinge like this and like that. And then this is finally gonna tab in there and there. That's all gonna tab in together. Just like that, bring the little wings up and bring this piece up and over his head. And there is hoist in robot mode. And again, he looks fantastic. He looks so G1 and yet so modern. And I absolutely love everything about this figure in robot mode hoist is approximately six inches tall six and a half if you go to the top of the little search light here and of course we have the um very obvious right hand that is showing so we're going to bring in his weapon which he can hold like a gun but if you keep going and just push it all the way in it's going to cover up his fist and now we have the proper uh hoist hose arm or, or cannon arm, or I'm not really sure what that was, but that's the way it should look. Uh, and that looks fantastic. And going all the way around, hoist looks amazing. Not a whole lot of kibble. That's the appropriate amount of backpack for hoist because he's got that tow gear on his back and that searchlight with those wings. So he looks amazing. A little bit of hollowness on the back of the legs here because of transformation. It's, it's not very obvious. It doesn't look too terrible. Just going all the way around. Beautiful, fantastic figure all the way around. Getting in close to see the head. The head is on a ball joint, so we can go up and down and side to side all over the place. 
and we'll back up just a little more. Shoulders can go all the way around. Now, these are funny because they are at an angle, which is actually appropriate for this figure. Uh, so they can go all the way around, but they are hindered by the uh, little wings back there. So you're going to want to be careful with those. And you can go in and out on the actual shoulder itself. You have a rotation at the bicep. You saw that we used it in transformation. And we can bend at the elbow. And we also have a rotation at the waist. We have, or sorry, at the wrist. We have a rotation at the waist, though. So there it is. Legs can go forward all the way backwards. They can go in and out. They can rotate at the thigh. They can bend at the knee. They actually have a double bend at the knee because of transformation. Uh, toes cannot go forward and backward, but we do have that ankle tilt. So you can do those wide stances again. So it looks very, very nice. Again, beautiful update to a G1 Classic figure. This looks so, so good. And again, for comparison, we're going to bring in g1 hoist so you can see what these guys look like together uh and yeah um g1 hoist and uh, <laughs> it looked a little dumpy <laughs> but you can see it's it's a really good updated uh translation of this it's 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 just a fantastic beautiful figure and i cannot wait to get a trail breaker yes i'm gonna buy this figure again when they give me a trail breaker out of it yes i am i know i have a problem uh, yeah, beautiful figure. Oh, one more comparison. Why not? Let's take a look at him with uh, Prime. Prime is a Voyager standing at about seven inches and uh, a hoist. Uh, is a deluxe, believe it or not. Um, he's actually just quite big for a deluxe standing at six and a half inches. So, or at six inches. Yeah. So he's almost as tall as Grapple. Uh, in fact, why don't we go ahead and bring in Grapple so you can see these guys together. So again, so Grapple and Prime are both Voyager figures. Hoist is a deluxe figure. And you can see right there, uh, it, he's a very big deluxe figure. So we're really getting our money's worth out of this guy right here. He looks amazing. Really, really, really love this figure. And I think that about covers the Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Hoist. Not Grapple, Hoist. We already did Grapple. This is Hoist. Let me know what you think of this figure. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends if you like what you see. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.